Okay, a quick video on using Canvas for our courses. Uh, first, you need to navigate to Experience Experiencia 21.tech.mx. That's the right place. I've seen people use other links. This is the right one. Note that if you're using the app, you want to use that actual value when you open the app and it asks you to search for your school. Don't search for the school. Just uh, put that URL straight into the app and then it'll log you in through your tech login. A few things you want to do. This is the main page. It shows you all your courses you might have in Canvas. This is going to be look different for me, of course. You might want to go to your account and then um, go to your profile. And then you might want to change some things in your profile. Edit it, give yourself a biography, some links. You can upload a photo. That really helps us teachers to um, identify you when you send messages and we can identify with the person we remember from the classroom. So that's that. You can do some other changes. You can actually go to the settings and you might want to change things like which language you're using. Um, I have it set to English in Canada um, so I can speak Canadian but you might change it to Spanish or French or German or whatever you like. What that does is when you're in a course like mine I have my courses set to allow the interface to use whatever the user wants. So that doesn't mean the content's going to change language, it just means the menus. So I'm going to navigate to the this course, the TC287, which I'll use for this video. Uh, the ones that are in group 11, it's the same basically. Um, I have to remember to copy paste stuff across, so hopefully I don't um, mess up when I'm doing it for both groups. Anyway. Um, I've changed the home page so that any announcements, or I think the last three, will appear at the top. And in case there's anything that's urgent, that should show up here at the top. This front page I'm actually going to change. I'm 99% convinced I will um, change it so that every week that will be a different front page saying what's the important things. Uh, if you're in my group, you'll know that I sent you this email, uh, it received via email if you have it configured such or an announcement which gives you a bunch of information about what we're doing this week. Um, and here's the video to accompany it. So announcements shows you whatever announcements have been published during the semester. You might be interested in going back and looking at old ones so you don't have to go through your email. Uh, modules is my design, technically the national design of our course and laid out in different groups of modules. Okay, um, Some of these right now aren't published. You can tell because I've got little uh, no published there. That's because I'm making some changes before I release those to you to make sure it's all polished and checked. Uh, everything for this week is already there. Uh, people will allow you to check people. Syllabus is, uh, again, this is my English language menu. It'll be different if you're in Spanish. Um, but it should be more or less the same order. These things that are grayed out aren't visible to you right now. Syllabus is the view of uh, ordered by date. Again, all these things at the bottom, they don't have dates on them, they're not published yet, you won't see them. And then there's a weight. Again, our exams are 50%, the project's 20, the homework uh, quizzes and other activities in class 25, and, and the quizzes of auto study is 5. There's a chat. I've not used it at all. You can go ahead and try, and I believe it works inside the app. So you can try and contact me via chat if you like. Grades is to see your grades. Assignments is a breakdown of all the assignments in the course, or at least for now, the ones you can see. The rest should come up in the next week. And uh, it's broken down into areas. So I'm going to close these all down so it's all kind of visible in a big chunk. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. So 5%, 25, 20. Again, these reflections are, aren't worth um, points, so they're put in a special bin of 0%. So you can view the system that way. And that's about it. Um, that's about all you need to know to navigate. So there's, I think, in my opinion as a student, there's two ways to navigate the course. From the home page, you'll see there's this to-do list. Right? And it tells you, this is actually mine, I have to grade 16 of these, so you're seeing what the teacher sees. But for you, you'll generally see these coming up. And it'll show you the most um, closest to today things that you have to have done. You need to do this by August 14th at 9 p.m., uh, and this as well at the same time, and this August 15th at 9, 9, 9 a.m. actually. This is in class. Um, and then you could click this to see more of them. I believe the default is it shows assignments up to maximum two weeks into the future. 
Okay, by this time next week I should have all the assignments pretty much all published. So you'll see all those. So that's your view. You can also see that from the main page. And the other way to view it is via this modules view. Or I think it's called contenido, but I'm not sure what it is in Spanish. You'll figure it out. And that's this view where it's mostly in chronological order of the way we want you to go through the course. Okay, so some of your students had a question. There was a quiz here and it wasn't obvious what the quiz was about and what I've done is I've gone in and edited those quizzes we should be able to see it in this one I went and made a change on that quiz so that this quiz is part of this activity so I point you back to what the activity which is the content that you need to look at before you actually do this quiz okay this should pretty well explain things for canvas for you if you have any other questions Please help me by letting me know what's confusing and then I can fix it for you. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great week.